look she'll eat but um hope you guys are good um today's tuesday what are they it's a tuesday tuesday june 4th um have a few errands that i need to run and then also um i need to need to get groceries need to do my nails need to go to the scam need to fill up need to get pills need to need to need to need to need to so yeah we'll talk about that but also um Okay, we'll talk about that other thing when I come back when we get oh guys this thing has been giving me I don't know you know that thing when something is in like your ear and then you do that it's been giving because this little foot thing goes inside my ears and I will talk about that when I get home what I want to talk about actually when I get home it's something that I have to just to get off my chest because it's not that it's annoying me but I'm just like hmm you know so yeah we'll talk about that when we get home but for now let's go have fun do my nails i think i'm gonna go shorter i enjoyed this color so much this is the first time i stay with nails for three weeks i don't do i don't stay with my nails for three weeks i only stay with my nails for two weeks because i do a full color a full color can overwhelm you and you get tired very quickly but if it has you know little styles and stuff yeah but you guys know me i'm not the crazy person when it comes to nails anymore so i thoroughly enjoyed this set so much so I want to we'll see what can we do today but I'm craving red but we'll see I don't know if I want to do square I kind of miss square get long tips I'm doing blue letters by the way they're better than acrylic Let me do relax. I got my nails done, yeah. So she convinced me. First of all, I wanted to do okay. So I do Lula tips on my nails because I don't do um guys, it was so cold in there. I don't do um acrylic anymore. I only do Lula tips um with gel because it's so good on my nails. My nails grow like crazy ever since I started doing Lula tips, right? So I do Lula tips on my nails. They grew. That's why I started a whole fresh new set today because I'm just like my nails were like this long, so I cut them, yeah, well, and then I did um, what is this? And then she put the tips. The tips were, the tips were coffin shape, so beautiful and so long, but I was just like this is too long for me. I can't do it. So I did the same shape, the same length, but a different shape. I did coffin shape. Like I don't know if you guys can see. It. It is so beautiful, but because I am so used to almond shape, I'm just like, ah! but I know I'm going to warm up to this. I definitely know I'm going to warm up to this shape, but it's so beautiful. Like I love them so much. This is the normal shape that I do on my, on my, this is the almond, sh the almond shape that I do is this length. So this is a coffin shape, 
I love, 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 love the color. I absolutely love it. Yo, but she ate my cuticles, bro. She ate my cuticles. The lady that I go to and I do my nails at here was busy, so I couldn't do my nails with her. But yo, she ate my cuticles. Like, don't cheat on your nail tech. But I didn't have a choice. I have to do my nails because we are going home to Northridge. So, yeah. But anyway, I love this hat so much. I feel like this hat is going to eat with a beat. Eat with a beat. Period. As I'm saying, Croza, guys. Angna Croza. And Lini. Aguna Gula. Kupeli. So. Am I just. Am I. Like, am I. Do I also. Do you also wait until the last minute to buy stuff for the house? Or do you just. You know? Because I don't. I think I, I need to start buying in bulk in order for me not to. But also, I just feel like if you buy in bulk, you don't finish the things and then they don't, they, you have to throw them away. You get what I'm saying? So I prefer buying groceries every week. I just feel like that makes sense. Or I buy the non perishables a lot and then I start for every week, just stack up with like your fruits, your yogurts, your juices, because juice, juice lasts for a week. Juices and stuff and stuff. So anyway, as I'm in, we're going to. I'm going to Bryanston because there's a Diskim there, there's a Clicks there, there's a Checkers and a Woolies, and we need all four. So let's go to Bryanston. Cappuccino tea drinking era because it's winter and I'm um, instant skinny cappuccino. Have you guys tried this? How do you feel about it? Because there's reduced sugar vegan and then there's the cappuccino reduced sugar. So I don't know which one to take. Which one have you guys tried? You guys know me and these. All done at Woolies. We are going down to the skim chickens and clicks. Woolies is just for, you know, fresh fruit, fresh juice, fresh everything. And croissants and stuff. So yeah, checkers is just for the other things. I'm convinced I bought the whole store because why is there so much groceries? I got too much groceries. So I'm gonna go leave this in the car because the woolly stuff are down there. Yo, I'm gonna go leave this in the car and then. I'm gonna go back to uh, what's this? I'm gonna go back to clicks and disc him because I can't go with this thing. This trolley is heavy. No, it's. I think I'm gonna go have lunch at Google. I'm thinking of a grocery haul, but there's actually no ways. <laughs> when am I gonna finish all of these things giving you guys a haul? Like, there's no ways. Like, I can't. Yeah, I don't add Woolies and. Woolies and checkers. I'm on the other side of the mall, and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna walk. There's nothing I hate more than lay walk of. It's not even a walk of shame. Lay runway, yalla in the I can't stand it. Now everybody's looking at you. So I parked by the woolly side because Checkers is down there. So now I'm just gonna park that side where Discam is downstairs and Aku is there. So I'm just gonna have, maybe have lunch at Aku. What time is it? It's. What time is it? It is. It's three? No, I have to go home. <laughs> I've been seeing this lip oil on the girlies and I said, <laughs> count me in. I think I'm gonna take this one. And this one. I'm gonna pass by Aku and check if it's not full. If it's full, I'm going home. If it's not full, I'll sit and have sat in the light. Aku was... It was not that full, but when I think about the traffic, <laughs> that is going to be with me. 
when I go home. I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Don't forget chicken and can I take your order? Hi, how are you, ma'am? I'm good, thank you. Can I please have a hot wing snack? Sorry? Hot wing snack. Hot wing snack, eh? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how I can wait. It's also me at Chicken Lincoln. I realized that I'm a snack person. I don't love food like that. I'm not a food person. I snack. Like, just like today, I had a smoothie in the morning. I had an apple. And then now I'm having this. And then I'm going to have dinner. I'm sure dinner I'm going to have like maybe one piece of chicken. I'm a snacker. So maybe that's why. I don't know. Hi. Thank you. Can I please have ketchup? Hi, can I please have ketchup, sis? Ketchup. Yes. No, what? Hey. Thanks. Like, do they, do they, do they purposely tell them not? Then, Gucci, do they purposely say, "Don't give them until they ask"? Don't you dare give them if they don't ask. You don't give. If they, if you give them, like I don't understand, because why must I keep asking for something? That, you know there's chips in there. Why are you not giving me a tomato sauce? Make me understand. I'm back home. I know I look, I look crazy because why am I wearing a gown? But there's actually no ways. What's this? There's actually no ways. I got home and it's so cold. Like it's so cold. I want to show you guys what I actually was going to get at um, the skin. I needed Nivea body oils. Because my Sasegile is finished. Like, Sasegile is so good. I need to order more. So, I needed Nivea body oils. What is this? Body cream. Sorry, body cream. So, I got three of these. What I do is I put those Bromley tissue oils from Pep Inside. And I'm good to go for the winter. I'm very disciplined actually, you know? Also, I have too much makeup currently. There's no need for makeup. And then I got this lip oils. I saw them from, where did I see them from? I think it was Ayand, Aya, Aya, I am, yeah. I saw I am Bailey. I am Bailey, yes. I saw them from her. And then, because I've been using the one that I got from Take A Lot, when I did the Take A Lot campaign, I've been loving them. Because you know, my lips are very, um, you know, they're not fragile. But they are fragile. Yeah, my lips are kind of fragile. So, hence why I don't use lip, lip, lip sticks and stuff like that because they crack very easy. So, I was using that lip oil and I loved it so much because if I don't use lip oil, I use Vaseline. So I got these two. This is the pink champagne. And then this is the honey honey. It looks orange, but I can get I'm almost certain it's not orange. I don't have anything on my lips like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey honey. I'm sure it's the same thing. I don't have to show you the same thing. It's literally the same thing. And then I wanted to give you an update on Minoxy 5, right? I have taken a break from Minoxy 5 because it was giving me headaches. For the past, I think I've been using it for the past three, for the past three weeks, right? I had, I had heard about the side effects and stuff, but I didn't see the one way people were like, it's, it gives you headaches. So I was using it for the past three weeks and then I was having headaches every day. And I'm just like, why? A headache where even grandpa can't stop it. I said, mm-mm. Mm -mm. There's something not right. So I stopped using it for a week. Tell me why the headache stops. Tell me why when I stopped using it for a week. Because I, I remember last week, the whole of last week, I was using it every day, mind you. Every single day I was putting that thing on. But since last week, I stopped using it because of the headaches. Tell me why the headache stops. My headaches continue, literally, sorry, continue. My headache literally went away. And I was just like, clearly I'm not supposed to be using this thing. So I've stopped using it. There's there's an option for you to drink the bowl. I'm not about to drink a bowl for my hair to grow. It did work. Let me show you. But that also gave me a bit of dandruff. Like it was working. It was. It really was. I don't want to lie to you. Do you see that growth? 
it really was working like i don't want to lie to you it really was working sorry this is the glue when i put my hair but it really was working but unfortunately i have to stop like do you see that that hair growth there it really was working i don't want to lie to you guys uh my hairline was slowly slowly coming back it was three weeks imagine what would have happened if i used it for three months a part of me was like is like rather continue and i'm getting i don't know like i'm flaking you know and this is this is glue yes but not all of it is glue because this thing is also at the back of my head you know so i don't think minoxy 5 likes me personally so because do you see that i don't put the glue up until they like that's why i'm saying i don't know if my dandruff is bad or what do you see that like do you see that do you do you see that <laughs> so unfortunately minoxy did not like me or minoxy does not like me and i have to discontinue the use because obviously not everything that you use is gonna be good for you so clearly mina it does not like me and i'm not about to to continue using something that doesn't like me because there's no way i'm getting headaches my dandruff is worse my hair was growing yes but i'm always in wigs so she you know, so I have, I have, tra I transferred it into a spray bottle, as you can see, because that's what people were saying. But personally, I'm not going to use it anymore. I am good with Minoxy 5. I had very bad side effects, like my dandruff was worse. My, I have headaches, so I've stopped. I'm home, let me show you. Oh, aren't they so cute? And they're so pretty and they're so gorgeous. Love them so much. Guys, the way my nails had grown, I said no ways. Also, um, there was a little... Somebody tagged me on something on TikTok where an influencer was... I don't know if she's an influencer or what is she, that lady. But she was just talking about upcoming YouTubers. And they were giving um, upcoming YouTubers like some information about how to go about your YouTube career and stuff like that. And then someone tagged me on something that someone said. Um... Let me say something, obviously, because one thing about it, two things for sure. My content ever since I gave my life to Christ has completely changed. I'm not going to talk about the same things that I used to. I'm not going to do the same things that I used to. I'm not going to. I'm not the same person. You know what I'm saying? So somebody even said, yeah, she doesn't talk about sneaky links anymore. She doesn't. She's not a fun person anymore. And that's just fine. That's okay. I'm not here. And I'm going to be so... I think the number one reason why people have always resonated with me, I always tell the truth. I am calling a bandu by suppressing my new life in a sense of my new godly life. That's the route I'm willing to take and there's, the things, there's few things that I have to let go. You know what I'm saying? My surroundings have changed and there's some things that I personally want to keep to myself. I don't want to share anymore because oversharing has literally led to so much heartache in my life so i'm fine with oversharing i don't want to overshare i don't want to share things that are happening that are good in my life if they're good if they're bad thank you god but me coming here and sharing them i don't want to if you see it good if you don't see it shut if you talk about it good if you don't talk about it shut but i can't please everybody let me just tell you that i can't please everybody i'm not money and this message is not necessarily directed to the darlings it's directed to the other people that have something to say. She's changed. She's not relatable. If I'm not relatable, why are you still here? If I'm not relatable, why are you still here? You're here for gossip. You're here to, to keep track. You're here to check my life. There's nothing that you're going to check. My life is absolutely silent. Absolutely. It's smooth sailing. I love it here. I love the fact that I don't have to expose myself for content. You know, I don't have to share so many sentimental things for content. It's, it's, it's lovely where I am currently. I love being in a space where people don't see much about me anymore. And that is what I'm choosing to give you. And let me tell you, if it wasn't working for me, I would stop. In a sense of, I'd stop creating YouTube content. If I wasn't getting paid the same way I'm getting paid. If I wasn't making the same amount of money. Let's not lie. This is entertainment. Yes, this is my life. This is my... What do you call this again? This is my digital camera. This is my digital whatever, whatever, whatever. One day my kids are going to see this and watch this. Yes, it's everything digital, whatever. It's entertainment. Yes. But at the end of the day, I'm also getting paid. But do you not sit back and think if I wasn't getting paid the same way, I'd still be doing this for what? For fun. Creating content for fun. I don't, I don't, 
I'm, I'm, I'm way past the stage of creating content for fun. Uh, content creation is my job. Content creation is my life. And I will create content that I see fit. I can't, that's what I'm saying. I can't please everybody. You know, I can't please people just because Zanere says, you know, she, she wants to see sneaky links. She must go watch other sneaky links. I don't do that anymore. That was four years ago. I'm 30. What the hell am I doing talking about sneaky links? What do you mean? Dun, dun, dun. Like, what the hell am I doing talking about sneaky links? So I'm here to tell you that if content doesn't resonate with you anymore, unsubscribe, my darling. The unsubscription button is so free. Imagine you're going to watch somebody's content with your own data shall I pass you waste your time and then go and complain thinking that person will change for who for you no the people that are here watching what I'm giving them and they love it that's who I do this for and I do this for myself so if you think my content is gonna be about being a bad bitch my content is gonna be about sneaky links my content is gonna be about no no my content has evolved my content has changed and I love it here I love it so much. Someone was like, yeah, you don't show us much anymore. I really don't. And I love the fact that I don't. So what? So that you can have something to talk about. The same things that I used to share is the same things that people take snippets of and then I'm trading for it. And I'm just like, what am I doing this for? In essence, yes, I'm helping the next person, but it's just like, what am I doing this for? You know? So I think I like this little life. Whatever that I share with you, good whatever that i don't share is still good if you love it i'm so glad if you don't love it by all means you know i've built i've built such a community that that's why i'm saying this message is not for my darlings the people that are true to me the people that are always responding the people that are always replying the people that are always commenting it's not for them it's for those that feel like fuck she's not doing what we wanted to do anymore and i'm not I'm not. If you want the same goodie that you got four years ago, oh, babe, sorry. It's the four pipes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but sorry. It's not going to happen anymore. That's not happening anymore. I'm a brand new woman. I don't talk about such things anymore. And I wish the upcoming YouTubers or YouTubers in general would realize that sharing so much information about you leaves you so vulnerable. I was watching, what's her name? What's that lady's name that had a baby and the boyfriend left? What's her name again? The other twin, what's her name? The Amon one. Who is it again? But you know what I'm talking about. The the other twin, the one that had a baby. The Amon twins. I just forgot her name. And the name is here. The name is right here. Anel, Anel. I was watching Anel. She's like her content has evolved. I was watching her sister. Her sister just does gym content now. Content creators are constantly evolving. So, if you think I'm gonna sit here and try to work around what you feel i should do i'm sorry it's not gonna work like that i'm gonna give you what i want to give you i'm gonna withhold things that i want to withhold if i want to share something i will if i don't i won't but let me tell you now for free my content has completely changed completely i give what i want to give and that's why i'm saying that you have to understand that i'm also getting paid by doing this because if i was not making the same amount of money i would not pick up this camera I would not pick up this camera because there's things that are going on for me that evidently you've seen on Instagram or whatever that, you know, people would be like, I remember I was having a conversation with Boyds. Boyds was like, she left work because content creation is working for her. And I'm just like, you only make money from Instagram. She's like, yeah, I only make money from Instagram. I never used to understand it until I started making money from Instagram. Like I literally make money from Instagram to a point where I'm just like, I don't have to do YouTube. Like a lot of YouTubers make so much money from Instagram that they don't have to do YouTube, you know? YouTube pays, yes. I mean, personally, it pays me because, I don't know, people still like my stuff. So, I don't have to worry about, you know? But it pays me. So that's what I'm saying. You have to understand that I wouldn't just do this for fun. I'm doing this because I'm getting paid, you know? And also, I just love giving my darlings what they want. So... If you don't like the new content, if you don't like the new me, if you don't like thing, how I do things now, tough luck. You can definitely unsubscribe. I'm not holding anybody at gunpoint. No ways, ma'am. I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not going to change or be a different person and and stray out of my, my relationship with God because I need to give you the quality that was before I was born again. No, 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 no. 
I rather lose all of it than stray from my relationship with God. God is all you're gonna hear from me. I don't know what else you're gonna hear from me because you know, also the long vlogs don't work for me like that anymore because there's so much going on outside of YouTube, outside of content creation, outside of social media. I have a life that is working for me so well. You know, I do drop hints here and there. I did tell you guys that, yeah, school and stuff. I have a life that is literally life -y. So social media is not something that I'm just like, yeah, everything. No. No. So for those that feel like I've changed, you are definitely 110% correct. I have changed and that won't change. You know, um, I'm almost certain I won't be here in the next five years, you know, but for the time that I'm here, you will get the real me, you'll get the new me, you'll get the, the, the born again me. You'll just get me, me that I decide to share with you. If you don't like it, by all means, the door is right there. And I'm not being mean. The same way you have an opinion about me changing is the same way I have an opinion about you leaving and unsubscribing because I don't relate to you anymore. I'm going to make a prime example. Um, Kyra. I don't know if you guys know her, Kyra Omnique. I used to love Kyra's vlogs. I don't watch her vlogs anymore. I can't watch Kyra's vlogs anymore because I just it's too cinematic for me. Yongindo must be a film. Yongindo must be, ooh, it's a bit too much for me, you know? So what did I do? I unsubscribed. It's that simple. You don't have to go make noise now. Always on her comment section. Whenever you see people talking about her, you're going to add your two cents. Yeah, Vela, she used to do this. No. You just go and unsubscribe and you just leave it like that. Once you have a mouth, that's when then you know. Say, mm, he wanted to give you what you wanted to give you. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm done with that life. The, you know, the always trending. Whenever I'm trending now, it's something that I said and people take it in. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go cook because I'm cold. I'm gonna make some, oh, my skin. My skin. Guys, I need to give you guys a detailed skincare routine, uh, the latest one, because what do you mean? Little bumps the here and there. I had a cold sore, Lana, and it was on my nose, and then it went down to my lip after this one, remember? But then it's finished now and then i had a little zit here but my remember i stopped skin vans but my hormonal acne is not that bad anymore like i feel like because i'm not doing anything the girl is just like cool we are on the right track <laughs> so yeah guys i will see you on i don't know when i'm gonna see you but this week is really it's kind of sort of busy so i'll see you when i see you Oh, my nails are so cute. Like, what do you mean? No, focus. Focus. <laughs> but, in, yeah, but anyway, let me see her. Ah, love them. I said coffin shape for the girls. I don't know what color this is, but I love it. You know, when she was done with my nails, I was like, I hated them. I think I had to just, you know, take some time out to love them, love them, love them. But anyway, oh, guys, please go get these. They're like 75 Rand for one. Obsessed. Like it's a gloss, but like a lip oil. And it gives you, it, lip, it leaves your lips moisturized. That's how. Uh, but anyway, I've been talking so. Good morning, guys. Good morning, darlings. It is Sunday today. This is the day that the Lord has made. It's Sunday today. Um, I'm getting coffee and I'm playing my song And I will be content In every circumstance What do you mean you'll be content in every circumstance? Sana So much has to be going on for you to be content in every circumstance Let me tell you, I did a no foundation Makeup look today and I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy. It looks so good. But anyway, happy Sunday, my darlings. Obviously, this vlog is going up today. Ah, duh. <gasps> Would I be a real-time queen if this vlog didn't go up today? This vlog going up today. So I'm currently at McDonald's. Um, I'm getting coffee and a cappuccino. I'm a bit early for church, so I was just like... Tell me why. It's 10 o'clock, right? 10 or 9? Church starts at 11. I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm used to church starting at 10, so in winter, church starts at 11, so it's 
10 past 9. I'm just literally chilling right now. I'm gonna have coffee, have McDonald's, and then 11 o'clock go to chill. Maybe half past 10 go there and chill. Because they also sell cappuccinos. They also they have like a stand. So get there, maybe have another cappuccino or whatever. So yeah, we're at McDonald's now. And oh, I look so beautiful. Also, we are going to Tandy's event, guys. Miss Tandy Mzamo, aka Bestie, she has an event today. YouTubers are what she wanted me to be a guest speaker, but I was just like, mm, I don't want any of that. I just want to come and support you. Also, I just feel like being a guest speaker, uh, um, there's an expectancy there, and I don't want that for myself. I don't want, you know, I don't want that. I didn't want to be on the flyer. I didn't. I just want to get there and be like, you know, I'm no more. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to Tani's event today. I'm super excited for that. I'm so happy for her. And I'll see you guys when we get there. I have to fix my. I have to put some mascara underneath here. I did this look for TikTok, so you guys are gonna find it on TikTok. I'm in my TikTok era or my TikTok bag because I hate the TikTok the era thing. I think I've realized also, guys, that Mina, I am. I'm not a stills person, so I'm finally going to be posting more reels and TikTok more than I post pictures. Does that make sense? I'm not a stills person. I think I've finally accepted that I don't like pictures. I don't like pictures. Let me just do reels. And I feel like reels are so nicer because I still feel like I'm in my YouTube element there because it's a reel and I have to edit it like a, you know. So, yeah. We are reeling. I just realized it didn't give you guys drip check. I'm so sorry. You'll get it when we get home. But I just got my food. Yo, I just realized that this place is so far. I think it's in Bedford View. And I mean, the church is in Randburg. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. People are Zeros. Pasquam Bird. Okay. So it's so pretty. Guys, who's with the most men's asses? Hi, guys. <laughs> you can bank on it. You can put a hundred gram on it. And it's just This is so nice. <laughs> Hi. 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 Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Lele ho, lele ho, yeah Tobalo ko macho, yeah Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah Nobody know tomorrow Choro ka choro And if a boy feel macho Make him look red like a so algorithm, however, has changed its algorithm in September this past year, and it, my demonstration is what this sweet is how it changed. So let's start here before I get to the matrix. Now between this channel and this channel, which one is big? Yeah, the obvious one, right? Okay, so can, let me get three people. So the big one? The big one? Who's saying is this one? No. don't know. Okay. Now, the, the, the answer is this one is making more money. The reason being, it is niche based. This one. This person does vlogs. This person does uh, skincare routine. This person does all kinds of content. <laughs> and then comes the algorithm yeah. when you upload your video and it gets here and it's like, um... I like it. I know that there are audience. Mm. Now, when I say that how to grow your YouTube channel using the algorithm faster, I'm talking two years. You are going to shave off three years of the five years that YouTube has given you. So just because your YouTube channel is growing fast and you've got your uh, 1,000 subscribers, at some point, your YouTube channel is going to stagnate. Mm -hmm. If you shoot up and go like 100,000 views and the algorithm, you are thinking, oh man, I'm doing great because of this. Mm -hmm. 
But now, at some point, the other one will want to know, who are you? What am I supposed to do with this? And so, but it will still promote your videos to everybody that is in here. Now, out of this, let's... So be careful with the music that you are playing, especially the ones that come from editing tools. Rather get your uh, epidemic sound or artists, okay? Just do this too. Now, once you have carried, let's say you successfully carried the audience with you, that's good uh, indication for the album to say, okay, the audience has gone past the 50% mark of your video. So that means this video is interesting. Now, what are the people that are out there that may take an interest in this video and what does the algorithm do? It goes and samples your video, let's say maybe to a hundred people. Mm -hmm. Took her, breastfed her, and there was absolute silence on stage while the audience were busy for a good 45 minutes. Why? Because she earned it. Now, when I get as a small YouTuber, you are sabotaging yourself by taking a class. Oh, I need to take a class of mine. And the battery died. Yeah. People over there yeah. who struggle. Also, that, the same thing happens to you. Oh. Did, mm. did this video satisfy you? This yeah. is now mm. the fourth uh, matrix. Does it happen to all? No, no, no. Oh. They, they sent to oh, sorry. No, they said people have a tendency of confusing yeah. vlogging with lifestyle. Mm. Yeah. Do you know why Tony Babashe is successful? Yes. Yes. She does vlogs, she vlogs. That is what you call lifestyle. Where you see her go to Edgar's and arguing with the manager or the manager wow. profiles her. <laughs> and all of that, she comes back, she sits down and she tells you about her day. Mm. What I usually see with many vlogs is people just going, Brrr. and I'm like, what's the storyline? Mm. Well, yeah, that's not just shooting, uh, you know, just. Yeah, what is the story like? Tony, she talks about, I have this device in my body and I'm going to get it out. And she takes you along with the whole process and how she feels. <laughs> That's a storyline. Yeah. Sully, what did you, what is your expertise? What, um, because you're clearly a good storyteller. She is. Oh, wow. You obviously know that a story needs to have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and an outcome. <laughs> There's got to be a story, okay. There's yeah. got to be a storyline, guys, yes. uh, with your content, so that the algorithm knows to whom to push your content to. Mm -hmm. The other example I'm going to give, which is very uh, recent, uh, Sitati. The reason why Sitati's channel is growing, she, I don't know if she did it intentionally, or she's not paying attention to it. She's got a husband, she talks about religion sometimes here, and the best part that is relative or re relatable to her audience, she is a content creator who's a believer, but also respects her ancestors. Mm, yeah. And the algorithm now knows that this channel, at some point, it's going to talk about these issues. And then Martin is always there. <laughs> and the algorithm has already noticed him. This is the focal point, which does what? relationship this is my opinion eh? i just feel like if you are a new youtuber it's not as easy like the big youtubers like i'm gonna make example me nane <laughs> if <laughs> if i'm watching a new youtuber and maybe she does what Koli does sorry we're gonna make examples <laughs> you know like if Koli comes and she's drinking her wine and she's talking for 30 minutes i would listen because she's Koli. and then if Kembo who comes uh, 
1,000, <laughs> no, like subscribers, and you are busy Actually. talking there, 1,000. Girl, I don't know you. What are you talking about? Mm. So I always feel like, try, if you're a new YouTuber, make it quick, because as far as we don't know you, as <laughs> not as so we'll get one hour. Mm. But personally, I don't like watching one hour vlogs, but if a big YouTuber posts them, I watch it, funny mm. enough, and mm. I finish it. Mm. But if you are a small YouTuber, why am I watching you for one hour? So I feel like it just has to do with the fact that people need to get mm. used to you, they need to get too familiar with yeah. 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 Like she doesn't like, she doesn't want to see yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. Otherwise, you, like some it. people forward and wait for that, but yeah. 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 so. So, do you think we should add it, or does it depend on how long your vlog is? Maybe if it's an hour, then you want to know what's going to happen, or should we just mm -mm. cut it out? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just cut it out. You <laughs> didn't tell me there's a theme. That's why I'm just like, is there a theme? Because I'm seeing everybody. I'm just like, did I match? <laughs> Guys, Sunny didn't tell me there's a theme. Now I'm seeing everybody in brown. I'm like, are we matching? Guys, we look so pretty. <laughs> She's so No, Kamu did what she had to do. Police are coming to arrest you. Congratulations. Thank you. Now we can go with Kamu. Kamu did the most beautiful. What did I do now? <laughs> <laughs> guys, Tandy had to do what she did with this. I'm so proud of you. You're proud of me? Like, I'm so proud of like, you. Like, I'm also proud of myself. Did. Do they know like, what you did? Like, guys, do you know me now? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest YouTuber in the country. Hi, guys, <laughs> I must have 12,000 whatever. No, I'm whatever. so proud of you, mommy. <laughs> Thank you. I am so happy and so proud of you. You have no idea. The way, the way I was anxious to come, I knew. You see what time it is? You know I'm always on time. Right? Let me see my you know, I was like, something. I was like, I can't go. I can't go, but I have to go. I have to go. But B, you should be happy. You should be happy. Everything, everything that you dream of came into fruition, so you should be happy. You should be not even just happy, you should be proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So gorgeous. I googled. And I was like, I wanna do something that I know I would love. I don't wanna just do it for the sake of doing it. So now depends. So I'm so happy. Happy. <laughs> next year we have another one. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, these are the YouTubers. What do you mean next year? An annual. So everybody just bought a ticket. Mm -hmm. Just bought a ticket. Okay. It okay. was sold in two days. Yeah, yeah. 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 People were still yeah. wanting and wanting. Oh, yeah. 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 You can't get everybody yeah. into yeah. Like, yeah. 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 the thing is that oh, I just want to be You want to be very into this. Maybe we are going to watch and we are going to this time. This is why even me with the 200k subscribers dash. Mm. I don't want anything mediocre. It's, it's gonna that's gonna be the biggest lunch in history. Mm. I want close to 50 if not 100.
I also want to put you on the spot. No, put me no. in the biggest spotlight of my Nganimbugen Yenalo. No way, YouTube. No. He put me in the biggest spotlight. No, YouTube. Hey. Yeah. Thank you so no, much. you're welcome. My next event is also going to be there. He's going to teach you guys about everything you need to know about YouTube. Me? Him. What? Him. Yenalo. Yeah, <laughs> So that's uh, that's what I think of. Okay. Is this a time to strap? No, I'm with a flash of the <laughs> Oh, okay. But for your camera? It's a bit bright. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lalela! <laughs> Thank God my shoes are comfortable. Oh, she's vlogging. Get it! So oh, it's a it's a vlog on the phone. I'm in the train. But see the black girl man is I'm one of them. Ah! No, that's wrong, yeah. You are the man. Oh, oh my goodness! Nice. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see much. Who are you, please? Guys, she's 41. She's 41. She's 41? 1983, baby. She's 41? <laughs> no. If I don't look like that at 41, I am... What? You are a liar. If we don't look like that at 41, what are we doing? This is a whole black don't crack situation. That's how you know it. That's how you know it. I'll send, I'll send, I'll send. And then just to acknowledge our sponsors once again, a big thank you to Penguin Random House. Over here by Bonolo as well as Lolo Ako and Lassa Denzai and Lolo Boy who have sponsored and made this event. It's a beautiful event. Okay, so with after the gym, we're going to call on our warm-up well, number four. She's going to stay seated. <laughs> um, and uh, you've all been engaging her from the time that she arrived. Um, that is Oli Tabashe. Um, and there's going to be an interactive Q&A. So... <laughs> exactly. But for me, it's actually not a question. Ne? You know this thing when someone helps you and they don't even know that they've helped you um, Because I watch her vlogs So this one time she was talking about um, I don't know if it's her friend who had to start a, a new YouTube channel Because um, all her videos had copyright And I was a new YouTuber Well I'm still a new YouTuber Yo, Sana. Um, I just started posting vlogs last, last year And all my videos had copyright, 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 copyright All of them And, and no, one, like, no one was telling me your videos are not supposed to have copyright and then she mentioned it this is the good thing about watching big youtubers she'll be there posting her normal vlogs and then somewhere in between the vlogs she pours in a very important um topic so she spoke about it and she said this is how you come to someone to tell me what to do and then i picked it and then i got monetized so i always say thank you Koli, but without me telling her because oh, wow. i don't know her i always say thank you Koli. you're helping a lot of people and you don't even realize it because yeah, yeah. you you oh, you're not that's like so true. yeah you don't you don't official information guys yeah. English, yeah. 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 you don't get it you don't hide it <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> you guys are oh, sorry. <laughs> Without even knowing that she's doing it. So it's one of those things where you're like, oh, you know what? I wish I could tell this lady one day, thank you, but no mm. told up. You shouldn't get to DM her. That's why I have the opportunity now to say I don't have a question, but to say thank you. For me, thank you so much. Me. Now I'm monetized and, and, and it's because of you, so thank you. Really? Yeah. that editing i remember there was there was a video i think it was a year ago Oops. i even oh. commented i was like thank you so much you were telling us like you don't have to have all these fancy things you can edit on your phone mm. and you know all those things mm. and once again she doesn't get people mm. permission mm. Yeah, she <laughs> like, True. Tell. True. and one thing i like about her she Response to people's comments. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. There's a heart. Doesn't matter yeah. how many mm -hmm. people. Doesn't have to be that time. But go, you always go. Even if she doesn't write. Yes. She, yeah. She there's a heart. Like, there's yes. always yeah. a heart. She's done she's done it. It. Yes. 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 I remember on one of your videos and you were coming, you were not really coming, but you were advising small videos. <laughs> 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 for me, I 
have to because you know sometimes as so sometimes even if I'm doing something wrong, they won't tell me because it's like we want to be kind. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate it. I remember we were like, you guys are busy choking and on your <laughs> <laughs> To watch someone chopping it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that your child is not part of your content. Mm -hmm. Are you never tempted? What was the reasoning behind it? Because now you see who pampers. I love that there are also other content creators who are showing that you can grow just mm -hmm. as yourself. You don't need to attach it to your own as a mom. When it comes to, uh, how do I say it? Because I'd have to backtrack. Yeah. I have, uh, obviously I've said a lot on social media. I've done a lot of, oh my word. Yeah. So I think more than anything, I want to protect the things that I love dear to me. Yeah. I would have made, let me tell you, if I could show you my emails now about, we have a campaign for, I remember the, the, the one specific one was Ackermans. Um, mm. They wanted a campaign for, I don't know how they knew. Obviously, I talk about my son, but I don't show him. Yeah. Like, we have a campaign for a child. We want to do this, want to do that. Clothing. I said no, because I, I want to respect him, firstly. Mm. I don't want him going to school. Next thing, he's being pulled left and right. I saw you on TV. I, you. Yeah. I don't want that. He will make a decision on himself if what whenever he's older. But more than anything, I am... Like I said, I am protecting what is dear to me, which is my son. And social media has so much to say in terms of, I don't know, they'll say your child looks like this, they'll say your child looks yeah. like that. He'll see the comments, mommy, so just, just like now, kids are very, I don't know, man, kids look funny when they grow up. They have big heads. They have the, like, I don't know what happened, you know? And then this one day he comes home, he's like, this other boy said my teeth are what, what? I'm just like, okay, they are, oh, but like, I'm not gonna tell you. So I'm just like, your teeth are gorgeous. Yeah. Tomorrow, and I'll show them. So I'm just like, kids are very weird, yes. and adults are even weirder. Yes. So they're gonna come because I know it's me. They're gonna come and tell me my child has four corners on his head and stuff like that. And my, that's why I'm like, I'm protecting what's dear to me, but also I'm a huge person who watches a lot of crime and documentaries. I don't know why yeah. that thing gets to me. Pedophilia is a thing. I wouldn't yeah. want somebody sitting. If I remember this one time, there was I was watching this crime and investigation thing on 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 170 and then they were showing how many bookmarks were there on a child's picture that went to a to a beach you know children wear costumes at a beach one million bookmarks why what, what are you doing saving a child's picture that went to a beach so pedophiles are everywhere imagine i'm gonna i'm gonna put it bluntly right now they are watching your child and they're relieving themselves watching a picture of your child that is disgusting i would never put my child in such a situation that's what i'm saying when they grow up or not they'll put themselves in that but there will no repercussions of it because i know social media like that like that so for me personally it's protecting my child one protecting my child from being scrutinized from being judged from being whatever but mostly it's just holding the dear things to me to myself. So that's why I'll never show my children. It's a big bag. Let me not lie to you. It's a very big yeah. bag. It's a huge bag, but it's a bag that I'm willing to pass just for the sanity of my child. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> And she said for new YouTubers, right? It's very so as a new YouTuber, how do I now do a get ready with me um, quick enough for a new viewer to to sort of like me enough to watch my full video without sharing too much? Because as a new YouTuber you wanna literally tell everyone about yourself this is me I'm a mother this is my child this is my dad. how now do you sort of balance telling your audience that I'm new without oversharing too much because yeah. I think we 
we overshare sometimes with the vlog you overshare you you show your main bedroom where you you know mm -hmm. for me I, I get so conflicted now with doing vlogs in my house mm -hmm. you know how mm -hmm. do you advise me to be pub private but public mm -hmm. I'm gonna be completely honest with you when it comes to the social media space you have to be to some extent vulnerable so you can be relatable mm -hmm. that's that's the that's the you know so i'm not gonna lie to you if we're not as controversial we'll not grow as much you mm -hmm. but but i'm gonna make a prime example of say daddy i've never seen any controversy about her the only thing that people are going to talk about is because why is she bringing her man there was a hoo-ha on twitter why is she bringing a man on the whatever 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 mm -hmm. but there was no controversy she, she grew organically mm -hmm. by showing what her personal life yeah. so do you see where i'm going with it yeah. you have to somewhat be a vulnerable to that extent mm -hmm. so you have to choose either you're protecting it or you're not mm -hmm. there's no in between because mm -hmm. you're gonna be boring to them mm -hmm. you're not gonna share too much mm -hmm. exactly you're gonna be boring to them ah she doesn't show us a half mm -hmm. just like now I mean, the only thing you're gonna see you see those two paintings <laughs> that one. that's the only thing you see from now on in my life if it bores you it's fine and i've seen that also when he was talking about um the 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 viewer subs what 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 was it he said the views will go down something something like but with yeah. me and as much as my content has changed a lot mm. so i i'm i'm more not secretive or whatever i'm more i'm just i'm just very i just keep it chair i just want to keep it chair now you know yeah. i just want to keep i don't want to if you watch i'm at the point where if you, you watch you watch, you watch. You thank you it. if you watch you watch if you don't watch you, you don't watch it. but yeah. also you have to understand that you know? There's no way not people are not gonna watch. Yeah. The ones that do watch is because they're riding with you. The ones mm -hmm. that don't watch is because they want more from you. Mm -hmm. And that more you can't give them because you can't sell your soul, your, yeah. your stuff like that yeah. to people. That's what I'm saying. There's no in between. Either you're gonna show them or you're not gonna show them. Yeah. The ones that you're not gonna show them, be like, yeah, she's boring. I never know her house. I never know her. They can hear your kids. Yeah, we hear the kids talking in the background. Why can't we see them? Why do you wanna see my kids? Yeah. Why do you wanna see my husband? Yeah. Why, why do you wanna see my whole house? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying, either you're in between. Now I'm gonna make a prime example about it. I don't know. I'm sorry if she gets this wrong. Like, mm -hmm. she was showing them the whole how she decorated her house. What did they say about her on Twitter? It's too gold. It's too, thank you. I didn't wanna say it. She said it. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, but me, I liked it. Yeah. I was like, it's beautiful. Yeah. People went off at her, your house is too gold. Everything is gold. The taps are gold. The countries yeah. are gold. Yeah. It, Google, it's, it's heaven. It's heaven. But that's what she loves. That's what she loves. That's what she loves. So that's what I'm saying. It, you can't, you can never ever win with those people. Either you give them or you don't give them. If you decide I'm gonna give them, you must give them everything. If you decide not gonna give them, you must give them whatever that you're gonna give them. If they watch, fine. If they don't watch, that's what I'm saying. It's either you sell your soul or you don't. Yeah. No in between. Can I say something just to me? She called me just, and I was sleeping that day, and she's like, Tell me, um, I was just watching your vlog. I don't like this thing. Yeah, yeah you did mention to me. I'm like, okay, why? Well, she's like, you're showing your bedroom. Mm. Mm. Like, like, people know your bedroom. Um, it's, mm. People know your kids. People, I mean, <coughs> I know. I, and I said to her, okay, what makes my child different from... Um, the other kids that are in reality shows. We know the kids from the Ranaka family. We know those kids. Eh? I understand what Oli was saying, but I, that's how I answered. Okay, we know the kids from the Ranaka family. We watch Utandone's team. We see those kids. We, so what's different about my kids on my channel compared just to me? But like I felt like after that, guys, I couldn't even vlog that week. I, think like, for I started her, having so much worry. I think for her, it's because she's talking on a, on a, on a personal standpoint. Yeah. She knows you personally. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes. She knows you personally, so mm. she just knows you personally. Mm. So it's different. I mean, I'm not saying this in a bad way. Yes, you're not a celebrity. Those people, they are celebrities, whatever. That's their business. But she knows you from a personal standpoint. She sees those kids. She knows those kids. It's either yes, she was trying to protect the kids, yeah. but also you have to understand that it ha it. She just knows you personally. That why are you so being personal about your life? Mm. That's what I'm saying. A, a lot of, you can please a lot of people, but you won't please everybody. Will not understand what it is that you're doing. Mm. So for her, like I said, she knows you personally, but also not everybody will understand why you're doing that. Mm. People would love, you know. That's why I'm saying it's fifty-fifty. Somebody will come and be like, "Oh, I saw your kid wearing 
whatever that top that they're wearing it looks so beautiful that i went to go buy it for my daughter mm. this 50 percent that is going to be positive this 50 that's going to be negative i saw that top a child was wearing why is it so cheap Sure. Do you see it? So it's fifty. You can't please everybody. That's why I'm like, yeah, you are you literally you selling sure. your soul yeah. when you are on social media. You are selling your soul. <coughs> There's no in between about it. You can't come and be like, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. But I'm you gonna be in the middle. Everyone, you can't. Man. You're not yeah. money. You, you can't, can't make yeah. everybody. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm just like, it's very scary. Because we see the things that they say about you guys. How do you deal with that? Mm. Because I don't say that about me. So how do you deal with that? How do you have become so authentic and yet and yet um your son? What's the word? Being yourself. Yeah, like being completely yourself and supposed to also be this good person who's not scared what people will say. Like how do you balance between all of that? Sure. Um, because as much as I'm a good person, I have bad thoughts about stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm scared if I show the how much of myself I can be mm-hmm. then I'm going to those people that want to run away or oh, mm-hmm. now the trolls are coming in mm-hmm. hence I said you need to choose what is yeah. that the route you are taking mm-hmm. or you're just going to be yeah. you know mm-hmm. I mean I've yeah. always I've always been myself yeah I've always had a big mouth oh you can't take that away from me mm-hmm. I've always, I have I have, I have an opinion on everything but I've realized that it's not working for me because as much as it's going to help the next person it always big fights because they're going to come back and say but you said yeah mm-hmm. So I don't do that anymore. Okay. I don't. I don't have. A, Is it because you I have don't big have, numbers? That's why you like. Solicit. I don't care about the big numbers. Okay, mm-hmm. you can't. You can't shut me up just because I have to work with you. Now I can't say anything. Mm-hmm. I can't say I don't like L'Oreal because no. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I'm yeah. Yeah. So, so now, exactly. So now, like, come on. If if you are on th- if you are authentic, you will be authentic. You will track the authentic until until until. Yeah. So now I must I must be confined in this little space because I want to work with the brand and I'm so scared to say something even if it's the truth. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. You need to be true to your. That's what I'm saying. You must choose. Mm-hmm. But also like like you know what he, he what he said that you must you must what did he say? <laughs> I was listening. He, he said something about he said you religion and or something about religion and stuff and stuff like that. You but oh, you don't have to have an opinion on everything. You don't have an opinion on everything, especially politics and and, 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 and they all reposting about Palestine and then you keep it. Yeah, why? Why is this? I'm not the one Palestine. You want everyone to die. So be, be authentic, be authentic so much, yes, but do not do not have an opinion on everything. And as much as you want to grow, don't let the don't get carried away. Let me just say, don't get carried away. And now you start telling people, yeah, I mean, I have seven boyfriends and not. <laughs> they will come back. Oh, when they one day when somebody decides to marry you, they're like, oh, but you had seven boyfriends. Do you know your wife had seven boyfriends? <laughs> <laughs> and then now your man is sitting there looking like that. Yeah, so be, I'm begging you with my whole heart, do not do the story time. Do anything that has to do with your life. But also, it's it's very crazy because it's a learning curve, and we grow up, and we and what we see at that present moment as it's just a story time of mm. seven boyfriends. Yeah. Seven <laughs> boyfriends. I want to come back and be like, <laughs> you know. So just be wary of, you know, the things you talk. Yeah, about. just be wary of the things you talk about. Some- like we talk about absolutely everything, but we stay away from politics. Mm. Um, he won't bring that up on air, you know. Um, it's that type of stuff that's that are, that is very polarizing that you just need to stay away from, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. So don't have big opinions on stuff. And even if you do in your own life, you can do what you like. But yes. but like online, mm. or if you want if you want to have a oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like how, how do you do it like I, I can't help myself but mm-hmm. I wanna it's look different. at how um, yeah. Auntie's go yeah. is doing. Yeah. I wanna mm-hmm. look at how Ongezo is doing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. obviously when I look at Ongezo then I look at my numbers as well and I'm thinking, okay, what oh, okay. is it that is different? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what is it maybe that I can do better I'm for coming. me to also get like the numbers. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just this one. This is one. Yeah, I just I just yeah. I just think be because um i said i said well i did the whole story time thing 
mm -hmm. obviously it worked because people were tuned in for story times it was controversial story time and so i was like mm, i don't like where this is going because every single day when you upload a video story time story time i must keep telling you about my life like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. everything about my life my life my life my life, my life. so just be authentic be authentic. Obviously, where the story time got me subscribers, then I stopped with the story time, and then people were like, yeah, we're not going to subscribe. I've grown ever since. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still the same. Mm -hmm. So just be authentic, mm -hmm. honestly speaking, and consistent. Yeah. Be consistent. Mm -hmm. be, co be real time. Mm -hmm. I'm always real time. I, I live off like real time. Guys, can I say something? Okay. <laughs> 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 YouTube. Uh, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> we are back home. Time to debrief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am. Um, am I sweating? Am I sweating? Because I'm gonna film with this makeup. I'm using that Rihanna blurring one over there. It is so good. Bless her heart. I need to go get more because this one broke. Do you see it? It's in pieces, Donna. It broke and I am in hell. Because how do you fix this? People are like, put alcohol. I'm just like, I'm not about to put alcohol. But anyway, back home, Tani's event. What do you mean? First of all, it was absolutely gorgeous. Like, it, it was so beautiful. It was so beautifully executed. It was so. You know when something, sorry, you know when something is so beautiful that you want to cry? That's how beautiful that event was. So beautifully executed. I met a lot of, um, I met a lot of darlings. I met a lot of YouTubers. It's so, how do I put it? It's not wild, but every time I meet YouTubers that I don't know, I'm just like, how do I not know you? How do I not know your page? Show me your page. Show me who you are. I want to follow you. You know what I'm saying? Because you, uh, we always so used to the bigger YouTubers or the usual people that we know, you know. So whenever I meet like smaller YouTubers, I'm so intrigued to want to follow them, watch their content, you know, understand them better and stuff like that. Please don't, don't, don't say, I don't misquote me or start talking nonsense. But anyway... It was such an amazing event. Tandy, what an amazing event, my love, if you are going to be watching this. Congratulations. You did so well. It was so beautiful. From the deco to the food to the to the people to, to actually having YouTube there. I didn't know that YouTube was going to be there or maybe the somebody that works at youtube was there that was so nice like it was such a personal touch you know what i'm saying and the fact that she's not doing it to pocket money or the fact that she's not doing it to i don't know a branch or whatever she's doing it to help other youtubers it's like a youtube connect you know she's doing it to help other youtubers i think that's what stuck out for me because you are not doing it for yourself you're not doing it for a branch you are doing it to help other youtubers that's insane you know how how selfless can you be so beautiful event mama so so beautifully executed i'm so happy and so proud of you of course we got a goodie bag this is the beautiful goodie bag i don't know what's inside here yet we're gonna open it together um do you see how thought out this is like that's how you know this is thought out and she took her time she took she took her resources and all of those things to you know and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to have come there and spoken to a lot of upcoming YouTubers and, 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 and. Ooh, okay. A book. Sana, one thing, I'm going to read by force. Michelle Obama, The Lights We Carry. Really? Tandy? This is... Guys, I don't read. I absolutely hate reading. I'm not a reader. I hate reading. But wow. This, this is very sentimental to me, and I'm definitely going to, let me tell you, this is going to come handy. The light we carry, Michelle Obama. I'm going to definitely be that. And then there's this little um, fragile handlewood cake, hostess, Ogulche by Bonolo. Also, it's coast. This is such a thoughtful gift. Let's open this. This is very thoughtful. This is very, oh, these are coasters. Oh, Wichle by Bonolo, Beauty, Self Care, and a Home. Let's see the coasters. Oh, 
she's not nice. I'm assuming she has an Instagram page where she does coasters. But these are nice. Oh, okay. So these are coasters. You can put whatever you're putting on them. Oh, this is nice, Tandy. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful, man. This is so thoughtful and so thought like this is thoughtful. Like I love it so much. Thank you so much, Tandy, for inviting me to your event. It was nothing short of amazing. Like that's what I'm saying. See the fact that she went out of her way to not just gain anything, but to help upcoming YouTubers. You know, as much as yes, people pay to be there, but. You thought of something to help people, not just for you. That's that's very selfless. But anyway, um, we're gonna edit this vlog. It's gonna go up today. I'm gonna film more content because I have makeup on. You guys know when I have makeup on, I utilize it to its best capacity. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on my next one. I'm gonna upload two reels, one today, one tomorrow. That's why I'm in my real bag no place else because i just feel like photos are not my thing my photos are not me anymore so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i will see you darlings on the next vloggy bye loves